quote. It is difficult to celebrate freedom when all of your life is defined by oppression on all sides, end quote. The Emancipation Proclamation was issued by Abraham Lincoln on January 1st of 1863. And that proclamation was the Declaration of Hope. Hope for what our ancestors had prayed for, hope for what our ancestor had labored hard for, hope for what our ancestor has had had to endure, the many bleatings, the many, the much oppression uh, being held as property. You see, it was a hope for us to be free, for us to have the opportunity of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. But Texas would not uphold that. And it would draw on for two years until Juneteenth, June 19th, 1865, we were released. The last 250 slaves that had been misled uh, and told that they needed to stay on their uh, plantations with their masters. They were finally free. But that was a quote from one of them because once they obtained freedom, it was hard to actually enjoy it because of, seg because of Jim Crow and the segregation laws. But what they did was is they pulled together as a community $800 and they created what would be called, um, what would be known as uh, uh, Emancipation Park. And that was in uh, Houston, Texas, where they would have a swimming pool and a place that they can gather and they would come together and barbecue and tell uh, old folks uh, stories. And uh, I learned of what Juneteenth was from my mother. My mother taught me uh, that it was our Independence Day. It was a uh, time that we were uh, recognized and we were actually uh, celebrated. Um, and what I usually do for Juneteenth um, is, you know, I just reflect on uh, what, what my people had to do and what they had to go through and what they had to endure for me to have the abilities that I have today. Um, and with these abilities that I have today, I remi I'm reminded of the responsibility that I have to uphold um, something great, to fulfill their hopes for what we experience today um, with something that will uh, bring honor and respect and dignity to all that look like me. That's what Juneteenth means to me.